The moral compass through which the society measures right and wrong action seems to be missing. One of the major areas through which our moral values are questioned is on the area of men and women's poor sartorial taste. In recent years, fashion and indecent dress practices has become the object of serious debates. So on your thoughts today, we will be talking about self-sexualization in the 21st century. And to do that with me, I have my girl, Uche Nauka, popularly known as UC Royal. She is an experienced broadcast journalist, a media preneur, a radio and TV host, and an excellent voice actor. Hello and welcome to Your Thoughts. My name is Ruth Besong. And hello, UC. Thank you for coming on this show with Thank me. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So um, I have, I think the society, not just me, in recent times, you know, um, back then we had the saying that says, oh, um, dress the way you want to be addressed. Right. You know, but today, I don't know. Do you think we can still say that dress the way you want to be addressed? I think it's definitely something that we can say, but the question is, is that something that we're seeing in today's True. world? So yeah. obviously the advice of dressing the way you want to be addressed is still very valid, but are people taking it, especially young people? Yeah, you know, because some dresses are associated with being irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And then in recent times, you have responsible people in those outfits right. at certain times. And, and then, you know, what does that make them? Would it be out of place to see them in a certain way? I think that uh, people have so embraced um, westernization and we are beginning to forget our morals and that as Nigerians we have our moral um, standards, we yeah. have the morals that we were raised with, the things that our parents believe strongly uh, to be what is right. And so you have people who are well read, who are intelligent, who are professionals in their field, yet they dress inappropriately, especially for certain events and certain places. And it begs the question, so what is the essence of all of that education if you still yeah. do not understand this very vital area as regards how you want to be seen and represented? Yeah, because I think that, I think that, um, I would not want to say it's a misconception, but maybe it is, okay. you know, people say, oh, because I'm dressed a certain way does not mean I am irresponsible. Right. But then you cannot totally rule out the fact that this attires are associated with being irresponsible right you know mm -hmm. so and then and then you know the the, the 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 thing i find interesting now is is that it's no longer just the women even the men yeah so you see like you go to a mall for example and then you find you know this nice cute guy on very short like really yeah. really short short pants short, you know short that, yeah. pants and then i am wondering like okay so why exactly and and how did we get here <laughs> you know so i think that and then there are so many trends out there on social media mm -hmm. so do you think that the social media space has played a huge role on the impact of fashion trend absolutely absolutely i think that social media has given um a lot of people access to how people dress in other climes but i will always bring it back home that we have forgotten that we're nigerians yeah. and you know the way we dress no matter how no matter how morally decadent or you know things become and all of that the point is when you dress a certain way, people will always look at you at a certain way, no matter yeah. how how wide you are read, no matter how, how many professional certificates you have and all of that. So I think that people fail to understand how to use social media and what is the essence of social media. So there are personal things that probably should not be there on social media where like a thousand people are yeah. seeing it, you know. So you yeah. say you're a lawyer, you say you're a medical doctor, you say you're a nurse, whatever the case may be, but we're seeing you dressed in a certain way that begs the question if your true pride is in your profession or in your body yeah and, and then I also um, there's something else right you know um, moral decadence is on the is on the rise right and modesty is taking is almost fading away right. and respect you know back in the days um, like an adult walks in here and a younger person would stand up for that adult to sit, sit. you know. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, I think that we go, oh, I don't owe no one anything. We've become very I, sensitive. Yeah, it's my right. You know, it's my yes. right, you know. You know, I, 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 I'm beginning to, to doubt that um, 
we're picking up things that are not ours right and we're throwing all of our values away right and it's it's more um, alarming because young people are taking over the strengths mm -hmm. you know you go on social media space and then you get people say sex sells mm. you know mm -hmm. sex sells so and then you have like this nice pose on Facebook on Instagram or, or on whatever platform mm -hmm. and then you're properly covered up and then you have like 12 likes mm. you know yes. and then you know this nude girl or guy shows up gang mm -hmm. gang everywhere bikini, and, they have a thousand. and then they have a thousand so it's 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 quite um, scary that people haven't gotten to that place where they have a better understanding of what that particular concept you described means. So you're properly dressed and you post a picture on social media and you have just 12 likes. And then you, uh, another person who is, you know, dressed, exposing some areas of their body, that private are parts private. That, are, that are supposed to be private, yeah. and they're putting it out there and they're getting 1,000 likes. Now the question you should ask yourself is, what do those likes represent? Yeah. And I'll tell you what those likes represent, especially for the ladies. Those likes represent the number of men that want you at the snap of a finger. Now, the question you should ask yourself is, does that really give you worth? Is that really what you want for yourself? To have a thousand men who do not actually have interest in who you truly are, yeah. your core being, but in your body. So people would rather sell their body than sell their character, which is what keeps any relationship or anything that they want to go into with other people you know you know right like i think that um besides um relationships as a person right you know as a person um do you think that that is um somewhat associated with a low self-esteem i think it definitely is um associated with a confused self-esteem i would not say a low, low self-esteem self -esteem, because right? there are people who derive their esteem in a host of other things maybe yeah. in the certificates and all of that True. but where is your esteem at per time yeah. so it's an esteem that is a bit confused as to whether i'm going to you know put who i am maybe my career my yeah. position my accomplishments out there or i'm going to put my body out there you know, right? It's okay. It's okay to be sexy. Right. You know, we're not absolutely. But, but, yes, it's okay to be and sexy. You can be covered and sexy. Oh, well, yeah, you can be covered and sassy and and still sassy and chic. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but I think I think that um, people are beginning to forget that there are different outfits for different occasions. Absolutely. You know, we did not expect that you should go to the pool. You know, in in. In a dress like down. this, yeah. yes, you know. So, well, I would think that if you're out in in such um, a private, oh well, maybe we are the ones calling it private. Oh well, you know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're out there, there are people there, but they're not up to the number of people that you have on your social media. Mm, so why do true. I want to put a picture of myself wearing a bikini where parts of my body, private parts of my mm. body, because I'm going into the pool, yeah. are out there on social media? So social media is not a pool right it is social media it's yeah. a global village where yeah. there are people all over the place watching you from everywhere so what is the essence of that so i think that when we start talking about putting stuff like that out there yeah. we start talking about intentionality what is the intention behind putting that kind of content out there right. what kinds of people do you want to attract on your page what kinds of people come on your page would you want certain people to see that kind of display Okay, you know, some people will say, oh, I'm a model. Do you think that that is applicable to a model? You know, when it comes to modeling, I think that that's a different that's world. That's a career, right? That's a, that's a career. Yeah. And so they would tell you that those kinds of pictures are what will sell in their field and in their industry. So in that case, you might not want to, you know, hammer so much on it because for them, they have already defined what sells in their industry. Yeah. But what if you're not a model? Yeah. What if you're not, you know, walking the wrong way? What if you're just a regular person who has a regular job, maybe a journalist or a banker or a doctor? Yeah. What is the relationship between that and the display you have there. Okay, so are there are there ways you think we can curb this decadence or this um, this practices that seem to be taken over our society on a daily basis? I think it has to begin with those um, those who understand um, the impact that this has on the society and on yeah. young people. And you mentioned, you know, earlier that 
when you have friends, your friends, uh, they admire you, they compliment you when you're, looking, when you're looking nice, when you're all covered up and you feel that it's also, the onus is also on your friends to tell yeah. you that, oh, I think that what you're wearing is a bit exposing and I feel like it's not, not okay. Not appropriate so for this occasion. So it's still going to the way the society has to come together to restore our moral standards that our parents instilled in us. So that's, that's one of the true. ways that we can bring it back. You know, and then um, <clears throat> on social media, do you think that um, if we had some sort of um, social media regulation and that would help. You know, you know, in recent times, yes. they had said that Nigeria was going mm. to, you know, so that the social media space mm -hmm. was going to be regulated. Right. And it's being debated in mm -hmm. some places. Yes. Or, you know, people have argued that, no, it's your life, it's Absolutely. my life. And then, you know, this it's your life thing. For example, let's take, for example, right? You have a 20 year old going to have a BBL. Mm. And then she dies. And then we start calling for justice. Right. But a few minutes ago, it was your life. Yes. You know, so, so do you think that the social media space, let's bring it back home mm -hmm. to Nigeria, should be regulated? Well, I think that um, regulation is important, but the question is, will it be achieved? Yeah, right. If, are we going to actually be able to regulate it to the extent of, you know, people not actually putting things like that there? I think when you talk about regulation, because adults will tell you that we're adults, you're yeah, infringing on our personal adults, rights, yeah, this is true. our life and we want to do what we want. So I think when we talk about regulation, we should talk about it in terms of younger people yeah. not being able to see things Some like things, that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man, it's been a wonderful conversation. So, but... Do you think that um, the professionals, right, you know, in this field, for example, the nurse who had the whole mm -hmm. crazy outfit done, right. do you think that private that will still be infringing on the right, right? Private sectors, yes. you know. Well, there are there, there are of course you know there organizations? organizations that do not allow like you, you when you're in the force here in Nigeria, oh, you're not allowed to true. put certain pictures. Yeah, even out to there. like have beards yes, and all of absolutely. those. Absolutely. So I think that some organizations have gone a long way, but then there are you cannot. Some other private organizations might not want to do that. And then you know the work margin in Nigeria is something absolutely. else as well. So how yeah. many people are in this work spaces? Mm -hmm. How many people are in the work forces? Mm -hmm. You know, you have so many on entrepreneurs mm -hmm. out there you know right. how I think that um, if we if we start with some sort of sensitization right you know trying to remind people absolutely you know of who they are right of what impact they can make mm -hmm. and of what impact their actions are making, making yes. I think that would help it maybe. would go a long way to help just to revive that you know culture and yeah culture yeah in young people because you know that this they talk about the Gen Z and, yeah. you know, the, the, the outfit <laughs> that comes with that age range. But I don't think, I mean, if, when I think of the Gen Z, I, I see some of them wearing really baggy clothes, clothes that they used to wear yeah. like back then. So yeah. I think that, but then there are those who say, you know what, I'm not going to follow this trend. I'm going to do what I want to do. So, yeah, I think we can, you know, talk about it and bring back those morals. Okay. So I know that we're going to have the part two of this conversation because I know that a lot of people have something to say to us and the fact that I'm dressed like this, does not mean I am this, does not mean I am that, you know, but for now, I would like you, what would be your advice to not just the young people, because right. in social media space, we have the old, the millennials, mm -hmm. we have all sorts of people, right. what would be your last words to them? I think my final word of advice to, you know, people out there who are listening is find you yeah. and find purpose and find um, a better understanding of who you are. And before you take certain actions, you need to think about the impact. You need to think it through what you're doing, what I'm putting out there, what message is it sending out? Because there are so many nonverbal communications out yeah. there. And so from the picture you post, from the comments you make, from every literal thing you do, it's a communication. So yeah, the question right. is, what are my actions communicating? That goes a long way to help. Thank you so much. Thank you, you so see, much. Royal. And my final words to everyone would be this. Find yourself, like she said. You cannot be everyone. And then stop trying to fit in. Be yourself. Right. There are so many beautiful role models you could have out there. And then do not be pressured into, oh, this is the trend. If you don't look a certain way, you're not cute, you're not this. How about you become the influence? Right. So create an impact from where you are. If you've fallen by the wayside, as a proper Nigerian that I am, we understand that the pressure is getting worse. Mm -hmm. But we have decided that we are not going out of fashion and we are not going to be out of vogue. So pick up yourself, be yourself, do not be pressured. Just be you. You are beautiful the way you are. Absolutely. Sex sells, but you are not sex. Right. You're a personality. 
You're a beautiful personality. And this is also to the men, you know. We have young boys who look up to you. You know, we can do better. We are Africans and we're not going to say, oh, you know, you know, in as much as we're trying to pick up what the Western world gave to us, they're trying to take all we have away from us, mm -hmm. you know. So we can take back our rights. We can take back our mantles. We are Africans and we are not saying you should not look good. Look good. But please help our young ones thank you so much for staying on this show with us today so we would be back with our part two but till then share your thoughts with us what do you think are we right what are your thoughts we would like to hear from you thank you so much for staying on this show with us today i remain ruth besson thank you for watching